Um, this is a little tutorial this time for uh, C++ programming and uh, it's going to be very uh, similar to um, the tutorial for CE so I'm not going to go back to what uh, I've already explained and what we've already installed on um, for C so I'm assuming this is already done so look at the other video if needed um, and so uh, it's going to be very easy to now um, develop a C++ application. So I'm going to start Eclipse. Uh, Eclipse. Um, you can still use the same workspace or a new workspace for your C++ application. It really doesn't matter. You can have C and C++ application next to each other in the same perspective. Uh, if Again, if you are, I, I don't think I've actually said that, went through that in the other video. If you are, or if you already had Eclipse and used it for Java um, or other languages, uh, you might want to change uh, your perspective to get to the uh, C++ perspective. So you go into Windows, a window perspective, open perspective, other, and here you have a list. So here it's only my, um, you remember I just downloaded the, the CDT um, C++, uh, C++ C++ uh, C++ Eclipse IDE. So it's just dedicated for that, but I could have just uh, added to a Java IDE the, the, Java, the Eclipse for Java. So I would have here um, Java or C, C++. So you need to make sure you're in C, C++, uh, which is the case here. We have our little uh, Hello CS screen ID program in C, but now we're going to open a new program in C++. So I assume the, uh, um, the uh, uh, compiler uh, GCC is already installed at this point uh, but if it's not it's not it should do it automatically when you try to create a new uh, c c++ project so you're going to file new c c++ project and here instead of um, selecting c manage build we select c++ manage build okay um, and uh, we go to next uh, we're going to choose a hello world c++ project we're going to choose the mac os x gcc and here are we going to call it, you know, hello CS390, OO to differentiate from the first one. Sorry, OO, because it's about object oriented programming. Next, um, and we can just go finish. Okay, so we have here our new project. Um, you're going to see that um, the syntax is actually a bit different. Uh, so, first, it, it puts them with um, errors, but then it takes a little while. You can just do a control S, command S to save it, uh, but it's it's actually correct. So the, the syntax is a bit different because it's the, the C++ syntax uh, has some um, particularities. So you, get, you use, for instance, a C out to print um, something, uh, but it, it really looks like the, the, the dot C, the C program, right? Um, so you have your little hello world program and same thing as before if I straight go into run as local it's going to say binary not found we need to first do a build at least once um, and uh, this is going to be here build project and here is the point or just when you create the project where uh, macOS is going to tell you well you need GCC compiler if you don't have it installed already so uh, then you just have to follow the instructions and it's going to do it for you. Uh, it's very simple. Um, so it has built um, the .o file. And if I run it, uh, well, I should do right click, run as local C, C++ specification. And now it writes hello world. Okay. Uh, the neat thing like for C is that if I say, Uh, if I do a modification here and I save it and I run, it's going to rebuild automatically. So I don't need to do the build every time, right? So it updated the uh, output here, okay? Uh, so that's it uh, for uh, C++ using Eclipse. Now, if you want to do um, the, um, uh, you know, the, the common line option, right? You can uh, save 
um, you can save a um, your file into uh, I think we have a dev space here with C yes uh, so we're gonna add a new folder called CPP and we're going to call that hello CS390 dot CPP okay so you need the extension dot CPP for it to work uh, so it recognizes it's a C++ so that's the nice thing with uh, sublime text here you can see C++ so it's going to adapt the uh, syntax highlighting automatically so we open a terminal window and we go to our uh, C++ cpp folder where we save the file we see the file here the dot cpp file and now we're going to compile it file this file using the gcc command like we've done for c except that we need to add uh let me take check it's the uh, dash lst dc plus plus okay we need to add that uh, for it to work so if i just do this uh, I'm getting an error message uh, and we need the dash LST uh, I never remember LST DC plus plus LST DC plus plus uh, option at the end and now it's going to work right if I go to uh, see what's in my folder I have the a dot out just like we had when we uh, compiled the dot C file and so same thing uh, dot slash a dot out and uh, I see my message I mean my program is executing properly okay so same thing again like I said for um, for C right if, if I if I change to hello world here and uh, and I try to execute the, the a dot out of course it's not gonna update right I need to do again to compile and now I can see the change. Hello world. 